Hello and welcome. My name is Andre Schmitz. I'm working as senior consultant and today I'd like to show you how to deploy NetApp Cloud Volumes on tap in Amazon Web Services using NetApp Cloud Manager. Have fun! So first of all we're starting at cloud.netapp.com. Here we select products. Cloud volumes on tap. Start a free trial. And we want to do our cloud volumes on tap deployment on AWS. So, oh my god, we need an access key and a secret key. So far, let's go to our user management on AWS. Create a new user, derschmitz.com. Programmatic access, management access, and I want to have a custom password. I'm typing in some wired thing. Perfect, I don't want to have my user password changed on first login. I will apply him to the group administrators. Will not give any tags. Next, review, create user. Here we are. So, as you can see, we have an access key. Just copy it, paste it, we need our secret key, also copy it and paste it. Now we have to give a name for our Cloud Manager instance, that's Der Schmitz Cloud Manager and I want to have it deployed in an European region in Frankfurt. Continue. Oh my gosh, that's an error. I have no key pair. So that's an easy one. We are going to our AWS Management Console and we'll find a menu option. It's called like key pairs. Here we are. Create a key pair. Give a name, der Schmitz CM for Cloud Manager, create. Here we see the fingerprint and whoa, no selectable new key pair. So we go back to Quick Launch, click Continue again, and here we are with a new key pair. Then we click Continue. And we have to select our security groups. And for testing purposes, we will do anything anywhere for HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH and click Create. So now our on command cloud manager instance will be deployed at AWS. It will take approximately uh, seven minutes. And after that, we will get automatically redirected to our new cloud manager instance. So to make sure the instance is created correctly, we will have a glimpse look at our AWS instances. So as far as the instance is created, yes, he's doing the instance creation process. Wait a few seconds, go to my AWS Management Console and I'm searching for instances and here we are. New instance is up and running, it's in a pending status and we will wait another few seconds until this virtual instance is deployed correctly. Let's have another look. Looks great. And as you can see, this virtual instance also has an external public IP address. So far, we can reach this instance by web browser. And deployment is finished. Wonderful. Let's create our first Cloud Volumes on tap on Cloud Volumes on tap at AWS. We need to give a working environment name. That's my cluster name, my NetApp01. 
and you have to give credentials for your ONTAP administrator, like in a normal ONTAP. No text. Continue. Waiting another few seconds. It's taken a while. Perfect, here we are. We need to select the AWS Reason VPC. We leave it at default. We don't want to have data encryption in that case. And now I don't have a bring your own license. And I'm a poor guy, so I want to select the most cost effective data, no NetApp support side credentials, and at this time, I do not want to create a new volume, therefore we skip. And yes, I understand everything AWS wants, and let's select go. So at this point, we have to wait uh, indeed 25 minutes until our first cloud volumes on tap is deployed. And uh, I will do a short break at this point. And we'll see later in a few seconds. Yeah, here we are. A new environment, a new cloud volumes on tap is deployed. It looks pretty good. Let's go to our AWS instances, refresh, and here you can see we have it running. My NetApp 01. So perfect. So as I mentioned before, we have a public IP address for our cloud manager instance, but we do not have a public IP address for our virtual cloud volumes on tap instance. But I want to reach this instance from my local notebook, and I only have our AWS local IP addresses. So, so that's a mess. What to do? Nothing under usage instructions. Oh my god, it's complicated. So for that reason I need a IP v4 public IP address on this instance. So far let's have a look at network interfaces. And oh, wonder, cluster management for a ONTAP system. Keep in mind this IP address, it's local from AWS. And we'll go to Elastic IPs, Allocate new IP address, click Allocate, ta da! My web IP address. So now we have a public IP address and we need to associate it to a uh, local IP address in AWS. Therefore, we select a network interface for my instance, my NetApp 01, and the private IP address we have kept in mind for the cluster management. Associate, close, copy the IP address. Open a new tab, HTTPS, paste the IP. So now I'm able to access my ONTAP, my ONTAP system manager running in the cloud from my local notebook. Here we are, enter your credentials. That's the admin and my super secret password. Sign in. Woo are A normal looking Oncomat system manager. It's normal features, normal volumes. You can see the root volume from our storage virtual machine. And I think we want to add a new volume. So therefore double click on your cloud instance. Add capacity. Give a volume name. Test one, two, three. 
current. I'm a poor guy, 10 gigabytes, no snapshots, and we will leave the MFS protocol and select the cheap cold HDD. Wait a few seconds, double click. No, I don't want to sync. And the new volume is created by Cloud Manager in your refresh Cloud Volumes on Tap instance. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again next time.